and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Today I want to show you how to reuse master slides that you've already created. So in the previous video I showed you how to create an interactive notebook. Some people want to make multiple interactive notebooks and if you want to use some of the same master slides and just create a few more for the new lesson that you have, this is going to be the quick and easy way to do this. So here we have, this is our sample interactive notebooks. Stay tuned to the end and I will show you how to make this background on my digital interactive notebook animated. So I'm in a new presentation. This is going to be my new interactive notebook. I've already set up the page size to eight and a half by 11. I want to use some of the same templates that I've already created in my previous master slide. Over here, if you notice, import theme. I'm going to go there, select my previous interactive notebook, and I'm going to import theme. Sometimes this takes a few moments. It's going to import all those templates that you've already created in your master. So if I go over here and click the down arrow, I can see that it's already imported all of the slides that I already created on the other one for my master slide. And then I would just go through this and add any additional masters that I want. And remember the way you do that, you go to view, you go to master, and then you wanna just choose a blank one. You can even duplicate the blank one so you have multiple blank ones. And then you're gonna edit this however you want your students to have. So whatever you want your students to have, this is where you're going to place that. If you wanna create this animated cover for your students, or if you want any animations on your pages, you can do that in your master slides. I'm gonna quickly show you now how to do that. So because all I wanna change is the cover, I am going to just right click, and I'm gonna duplicate this master slide. I'm gonna come here, and I'm gonna click on this to highlight the cover, and I'm going to delete it. Everything else I want the same. The only thing I wanna change is the cover. So I'm gonna to go to insert, image, search the web. So I wanted blue, so I typed GIF blue scene. This is the one I chose earlier. That's the one you see down here that keeps changing colors. That's this one. I'm gonna go with this one. Insert, that's a nice one. I'm gonna stretch it out to cover my notebook. Go all the way over to the tabs and notice it's covering up everything, but that's okay. We'll fix that in just a moment. And I want to put a little border on here like a binding. I forgot that I think last time. Insert shape. I'm just going to put a rectangle and I'm going to change the color. I'm going to go with this one. So notice everything's being hidden by this. All you have to do is click on the image and you want to go to arrange order and send it to the back. Everything will be moved to the front and that's how I can make multiple animated covers for my books. So there you have an animated GIF cover. When you go over to your slides you can have your students build it based on all your master templates that you've already created. My newest ones are down here at the bottom they could choose whatever cover they would like. So your students can choose your cover if you'd like, or you can choose it for them. There's my cover. And then I want them to have graph paper. Oh, I forgot the title page for math section. Highlight that, delete it. And this is how you reuse master templates so that you don't have to recreate them for every single presentation. If you want your students to create or just add a blank page, you would just click on a blank page. If you want them to paste something in here, all they have to do is go insert and then they can go image from the web or from their computer. So I hope you found this helpful. And the last thing I'd like to leave you with here is to remember that you are changing tomorrow. You're being creative and innovative and you're doing these virtual classrooms and flipped classroom scenarios. You're, you're making it happen. Be proud of yourself. Remember, step out, be uniquely wonderful you.
and have a great day. Please join my Facebook group, Creative Teacher Community.